Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. We're on episode 14. Still in the Great Tree. It does feel slightly endless. Although the end is actually in sight. I've just got to, I've got to go back, get, get all my punies, um, figure out how to get them all. Bring all 100 of them down to the basement. 101, in fact. I mean, there's 100 punies and one jabby. Now, most of them are down there. Some of them are up here. But the, it's the orb I need. And then I've got, I've got to just... I've got to make him fall through that gap, haven't I? How am I going to make him do that? Oh, you blow them. You, you blow them. That's what you do. Uh, in that case, I'm not. I was going to go back to the elder to recover them, but it, I think it would actually be quicker just to solve the relatively easy puzzle that has now come to me as being obvious. I mean, the greatest irony of all that that I never considered that I should just be blowing my enemies. I mean, that's, that's what I do to my friends. What I do it to my enemies. Okay. Yeah. Get in that hole. It's not quite as like easy as I thought. I mean, they don't all want to go in quite at once. I'm get I'm getting there. Though. There's, there's there's quite a few left actually. There we are. That's what you need to do. Get get in the hole. Come on. Is he there? Is he still there? Is there, is there any like not in? I, I, it's gonna. T I think it will tell me now. I can't tell if they're in the cage or not. They. Oh, I think they're still in there. If I jump down here, what well, that wouldn't tell me anything. Trying to play by the game's rules and it's not making it easy. Right, are they? I think there's one in here. Get in the hole. Come on, it's like golf. Get in the hole. He's just, he's not having it. What if? This is so annoying. It just it just, it doesn't want to do it. All right. He's just he's on the cusp. The thing is, it's the the blowing mechanic. It's not. It's not. It will only move them on the flat. It won't move them horizontal at all. There we go. That guy. Come on, lad. Right, now it's only saying 97, but it's because these idiots haven't noticed I'm here. Right, 101. Get out of here. All follow me, please. Thank Christ. It's, I'd say it's like herding sheep, but herding sheep, you know, it's not actually that difficult. You just have to be prepared. This is more like herding I'm, I'm not supposed to use that word anymore, but the, imagine the word that I would use that I'm not allowed to use anymore. And, you know, it, it rhymes with pre-card. So there shouldn't actually be any obstacles on my way. The only thing I've got to worry about is getting across the small lake. I could probably just jump down here, actually. Is there any reason I shouldn't? I don't think they'll follow me if I jump down. That's the reason I shouldn't. Also, the tits on her. That's just ridiculous. And she's essentially naked. She's wearing jewellery. Which implies... I don't know. I don't know what it implies. She's either naked or she's wearing just some kind of large body sock. Um, come on. They'll join on the back of the queue, you see. It's, you you got to wrangle these little bastards. Right. Can they get across here? 
Oh, I can. With, with tremendous ease, as it happens. I kind of remember jumping across those lily pads before, but I, I guess it was just to, to pick up an item. Alright, everyone on. I think we're heading towards the last boss. Uh, what's... Oh no, what's happening? Ah, the bottom's falling out. Actually, what am I doing? But like, in general, what am I doing? Because I've saved all the punies. So that's how you get to this room. Right, love, do you want to come down a bit? Alright, how am I doing for health? Not bad. I'm actually going to swap to Gumbella. Weirdly. I really hope that heals the people that I haven't got out currently. It should do. It does. So I've swapped to her because I feel like I'm about to get in a boss fight with new enemies. And having her out means I don't waste time not having her out. Come on, lads. Hop to it. Yes, this is definitely a room of some sort. So I remember there's a countdown and you have to leave as quickly as possible. Hmm, let me see. That thing's got to be around here somewhere. I feel like you fight the boss when you get out after the countdown. That's what I kind of remember. What's that? Whoa, sounds like a mob. Better clear out. I think he's just hidden in this room. I think, yeah, so this is probably the room that has the, uh, the star piece in it that I'm after. And I, I seem to recall that, like, it, it, when he says he'll clear out, he's literally just stood behind one of these statues and you can kind of see him. But apparently that's not actually the case. Place the orb. All the punies united together. Also one jabby. Because there's 101 punies. The elder punies not with you. That's the logic, isn't it? Or at least it would be. But I'm sure there's like a couple of them that run a shop. So they're also not with me. Wow, Mario, check it out. The crystal star. Score. Yoink. Hey, you. I see you, jerk. Mario, it's that weasel. <laughs> Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom, falls right in my lap. Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. Imagine if it was revealed that underneath that he was Robotnik. Or like the main boss. He's he, like, he takes his finger off. It's like, behold, I was Robotnik all along. You've been playing Sonic. Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So, for insulting my awesome trap, I'm going to repay you with a little present. Know what it is? It's a bomb. A big fuck off bomb. Just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator. If it's a time bomb, why would you need a remote? I'm going to use this to bury you and those squirmy punies in rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree. And with that, pow, I'm gone. Can I use that to exit? I think I can. This is so not cool. I've got it in my head that you get a bonus for however many punies you escape with, but I, I'm probably imagining that. And suddenly we're in a fight. Now the timer doesn't stop during the fights, which is which is intriguing, isn't it? And I'm stuck with this bitch. I mean, I she's she's not a bitch. She's she's a loving partner, but at the same time, she's she's no fighter, is she? Yeah, yeah, your attack might have gone up, but that doesn't make you any harder to fight for me. You're dead, son. You know what the last thing I need would be to level up? I don't think you actually have to go that far. But I don't actually know where to go. Is it out this way? It might actually be. Oh no, this is the shop. Lads, you might wanna you might wanna hoof it. It's best not to save it now, I suspect, because if if he's a dick about saving it with the time limit on, it might just 
shaft here. I remember where I am now. I recognise this place. I just go left across this room. Somehow I've lost some punies along the way. It's a shame. I don't think it matters though. But, you know, I've got 80% of them, roughly. That's that's a pretty good win rate. Any firefighter would be happy with that. Uh, full disclosure, I, d I don't know anything about firefighting. I, I presume they aim for 100%. Uh, lads, you're on your own. Get on with that, yeah. Sorry. It's been real. I should go back from really, shouldn't I? Yeah. Probably a dick move to leave without him. You won't be going any further this way. What? Are you nuts? Move it, you old geezer. What? Who are you calling old? Where do you get off talking like that? you got no respect, brat. Don't think my age has a thing to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Elder power, activate. Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? Have you got an ear hair tickling your brain or what? Oh, oh what the? Ouch. Can't take another step. Her back has gone. You hot-headed old coot. You dare defy me? I could shine my boots with you. Uh, excuse us. Hey, what up? We're here to kill you. You big bully. Now hand over that crystal star and get out of this tree. Yeah, get out. Uh, what? You guys are nuts, you know that? Oh yeah, I should be going through this quickly. I forgot I'm already on the ti still on the timer. Okay, you pass one pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fists, that is. Uh, shaved, didn't I? I've got nothing to twiddle. Is that a Pokeball? Awake. Magnus Von Grapple. Time for a tech thrashing. Enjoy. <laughs> Labo 1.0. Annoyingly, I've now got to swap out my, my team again. Uh, probably won't come back to negatively affect me that I left all those punies to die either. Can't shake the feeling there's something just not right about him. Be alert, okay? Can't flee this fight. Yes, yeah, I can I can imagine. So step one, I've got to immediately swap partners to Gumbella. I'm, I'm really pissed off about that because I, I kind of, I built, built up to it not being an issue and then here we are. Just gonna straight up normal jump for now. Just gonna, I need to know what I'm dealing with. Here it comes suckers. Magnus Von Punish. Alright. So sort of free, free nose and then it hits you. Uh, tattle my girl. Tell me all your secrets. That's Magnus Von Grapple. It's a giant robot built by the Exnauts. Lord Crump drives it. HP is 30, attack is 2, defense is 1. Its most effective attack is one that takes advantage of its size, a smothering stomp. You can also shoot at its fists, which do these super gnarly rocket punches. Its fists have max HP of 2, an attack of 4, defense of 0. Its fists are super powerful, so it's best to knock them down fast. The thing about this robot is I can't tell if it looks really cool or really, really stupid. Right, so we're going to go Earth Tremor. Actually, hang on. So I can't currently target its its arms. It's so maybe it would be a... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to save Earth Tremor until I have the option of attacking its hands. So its fists, because I feel like that would be a sensible thing to do. Fuck me. I didn't know you could do all that. One, two, three. Nope. It's free then hit. That's that's the key. It doesn't matter because she she ain't stay, sticking around. Coops, get in here. Eventually, my partner will do something. I swear this to you. Right. Two, three, four. I I messed up all of them there. Oh fuck me. Right. One, two, three, smash. I'm getting closer to being able to block that. I've almost learnt the rhythm means he's definitely going to use a, a different attack, isn't he? Oh, star power. 
Even if I got that, it would be useless to me. I've changed my mind. We're using Earth Tremor now. I don't want to have to rely on it. Plus, I'm getting all these stylish points. I don't actually know what the max damage on this is. It's not a lot. Last one. Nice. I mean, it looks like it's throwing him around a lot, doesn't it? Six. It's not It's not huge. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out what else this guy can do. You're going to love it. This might not work out too well for you. Okay, right. So Mario's going to worry about them. Yep, because you can't attack them. It's fine. That's all I needed. Actually, maybe I should just... I might I might just keep going. Uh, tap my first jump something, then spin jumping. Uh, but you know, because this does more damage now, so I should do this one. I'm probably going to regret this, aren't I? I did free damage. What does it normally do? Alright. Coops. Get up. I did free damage with this. How much does, that, does the hammer attack do? He does free, so it's about the same. Really, it com comes down to what the uh, what the other stick is. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, nope. I can't actually see what does the damage there. That's the trouble. So that's two. That does two. There's really nothing in it then. I should probably have killed the hands, but. Come on, that's, that's got to be... Oh. Hmm. Shit. Shit. Damn it. I still can't tell what does that. Uh, so he should... Oh, no, I'm at star points. Well, I could use this. Now, he does four damage for each hand, plus... Was it two damage he does? So that gives me... 10, and I've got enough health to tank that. Or I could just swap partner, but then I'd lose an attack. Let's just jump on him. Ah, oh, I fucked it up. There we go. No, no idea how to, how to not do that. Right, so the hammer should kill him, but... But will it? Go of this. It's kind of a make or break now. Yeah, he's dead. Wait, maybe I have to kill the hands as well. No, I shouldn't have to kill the hands. Yeah, that was a risk there I took. It would have been way easier just to kill them first, but I, just, I stupidly chose not to. Right, let's power up. I don't know what to do here. I don't, my instinct is just maybe. What am I at? So. Yeah, let's actually go flower points. I've, I think we're done on health for a while. 30 health is quite a good amount. And really, it's more fun to have more badge points than flower points, isn't it? Oh. Ugh, uh, no, Magnus von Grapple. How could we lose? Well, you didn't do any grappling for a start. It was questionable. Some grappling. Yeah. All grappling would have been too much. Some. I'll remember this, losers. Lord Crump summons us. Retreat, heads up. Kind of feel bad for that one. We pulled it off, Mario. I can't believe it. Wow. They're gone. This place can go back to being the peaceful place I remember. All right. There, Mario. Oh, you can have the Crystal Emerald Star that resided in this tree. Kills your throat trying to do that voice. You got a crystal star. And you learn the special move. Clock out. Which I think... I think what that does is it freezes enemies depending on how well you do it. 
But it doesn't, like, if there's, te if there's five enemies on screen, it will work on, like, three of them. And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the x noughts gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the great tree. The boogly woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our hero hears from the vile x noughts They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. Till next time, Planet Earth. Alright, end of the Mario section. Now we move into Mrs. Peach, I want to say. Yep. I've timed it perfectly. There's 10 minutes on the episode. Should be enough to do her little adventure. What? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump. Uh, you are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grodus, please allow me to enter. Didn't really wait for a response there. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the Oogly Boogly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing. This Mario character. What kind of... Speak up, Xnot. What's the status of the other crystal stars? I apologise, sir. We're still searching for the other crystal stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We know of three of them. Hooktail Castle, Boogly Woods, the one we got in Rogueport. The one they got in Rogueport? Interesting. That means there are four crystal stars left out there, and we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. Quite like that little X they do. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. He doesn't know his name, does he? Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. Well, I loathe you too. Oh, Mario, did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? There's something intrinsically satisfying about the noise she makes moving around. Oh, is this text doing again? The weird robot that inexplicably falls in love with her. This game is so weird. I feel like, you know, when people remember Paper Mario, like this game, they prob most people think, Oh yeah, you know, you fight Hooktail, the dragons, the big tree, all the partners, that bit where you're a wrestler, that's really cool. And then like I'm playing it again, they're like, oh yeah, there was that weird bit where you play as Peach and she's she's trying to get she's in love with the computer. Hello, Princess Peach, I'm glad you came. I should say the computer's in love with her, I don't know her opinion. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him alright? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? Yes, teach me of Felicia. You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I'm sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together, it's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. That last one's a bit of a bit of a sort of stabbing, isn't it? A fatal attack. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? 
Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Um, it's a bit odd. All right, I guess. I must say though, it's going to feel weird since we're dancing with myself. Press the buttons as they display on the screen. All right. QTE, I can do this, kind of a big deal. I've got a feeling you can't really fuck this up. Although it does seem like I just did. I definitely pushed the, the A button though. I think just nothing happens. This game is so very odd, isn't it? Why wouldn't he make it like Mario or Luigi or an Xnaught or just his own avatar? The fact that he made it Peach, it's somehow sinister. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun? Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. Send nudes. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyse the data from the dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer tech, you know that? No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. So if this all goes quickly, we'll, we'll just about have enough time to do the Bowser level. Which it looks like we're going to. That way, next episode will start beautifully with the start of a whole new chapter. Which is like the ideal start, isn't it? Urgh, it's Bowser. He's going to fight Hooktail. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good. Yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. Yeah, <laughs> my lord, you're so super. I don't remember if uh, if any of this actually like appears to have any effect on the on the people. Bowser powers up with me. Fuck you. Fuck off. Yeah. I don't think you can actually fall down these holes. It's kind of a fun first level. I mean, you don't really do anything. You, you pretty much just walk forward, but... You know, it's just... It's a classic homage to, to Mario Brothers, isn't it? It's, it's fun. They didn't have to do it. It's cheeky. We get this little after scene of him terrifying some Koopas. It may or may not work for him. Oh, hey, welcome to Petalburg. And oh my god, it's Bowser, the Lord of Evil. Hey, hide. Everybody, hide. I feel like the mayor doesn't have his glasses, so he doesn't know who you are. Hmm, or worse. Yes, hi chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. Bingo, Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. I've found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Cooper King, offer my greeting. Now, now. None of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. You know the shtick. Get in the quattro. Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> uh, I see, I see. How refined. How elegant. Elegant. Awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. Might even have its perks, you know? No. My my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-size Princess Peach poster. <laughs> Something hilarious about that, isn't it? P -p poster? 
Oh, my goodness me. Didn't see that coming. Great. Just great. Now I look like that. The huge, mighty kin of guys who talk to posters. Mwah, mwah, mwah. That's sort of what you feel, isn't it? All right, well, uh, I think that's the episode over. Episode 14. It's quite a good one. Really wrapped up the chapter nicely. Or there might be a short scene here where it says about the chapter wrapping up. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll, I'll throw this scene in as well, because then we can really start fresh next time. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontification. So come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please. Come back and visit. We'll watch for you. Well, we'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal stars. Well, we'll come back and see you again. I'm pretty sure. But for now, we gotta go. See ya, Mr. Mario. Alright, well, uh, bye, I guess. So even though I've already saved it, I, I, I want to I wanna save it sort of here. And I don't think there is a save location here now that I think about it. There's, there's one in the tree, isn't there? I'll go, I'll go back to the pipe, back to road pot, because that's actually where the chapter ends, I seem to recall. I don't think there's any combat on the way, is there? I don't want there to be, and there shouldn't be. In fact, you know what, I'm just going to say, uh, yeah, it's the end of, oh, no, no, something just caught up. Incoming mail. It's a GBASP. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please, no, I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. Uh, the fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know, I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle, where you would rail me constantly. I hope we'll spend carefree days again soon, where you would rail me constantly, Princess Peach. Pretty nice, huh, Mario? Yes, agreed. Let's leave and never come back. Is it? Oh shit! Might have to do a fight. Definitely gonna have to fight something. Christ! Just... Wait, is Coop still dead? No, they should have healed him, shouldn't they? They wouldn't. They wouldn't leave him dead. That'd be a dick move, wouldn't it? Although he is kind of dead. Could use that new power I've got. It'd be a bit of a waste, wouldn't it? Or would it be a waste not to use it? What does it do? Clock out. Immobilise all enemies for a short period. Oh yeah, they have different costs, don't they? I've just remembered that. See, now I've got free power, so I can actually I can use them more often. I don't think this will kill him, will it? Didn't even do anything. But the scenery might. No. Oh shit, he's drinking that Yakult. Does he have more attack power? He does. Yeah, I bet. I better use a power smash. I want this to be done with soon. Yep, fuck that up entirely. Yep, the, scen the scenery went for me there. It knew, it knew the scale of error I'd made. I should just leave, really, shouldn't I? I don't think there's any more enemies. Might be one. No. Okay. Get out of this place. Get me to the save point. There it is. Right, that was episode 14. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for the next chapter. I don't remember what it is at all. It might be the one we go to the fight pits. Can't really recall. It's going to be a fun one though. I'll see you then.